this is Mish, and welcome to this Taboo Review. This is for the finale of Season 1, so this is Episode 8. As always, this will contain spoilers, so if you're not up to date, go and watch the episode, then come back to this video. What a great finale. I was really surprised at just how fast everything occurred, and now we seem to be done with London as well, as far as James is concerned, and on to Ponte del Grad to seek out Colonnade. So let's break down the episode to help dissect the story and point out some interesting aspects. So the opening scene was the suicide of Zilpha. I did pick this from the last episode because it had a strong foreshadowing of her drowning. And it's sad because Ona Chaplin, the actress who plays Zilpha, is good. And her role going forward will obviously be a lot less. But I wouldn't be surprised if she now becomes a, a more regular haunting a spirit if you will that often visits James in season two if season two does eventuate of course as we know Stephen Knight has confirmed but I imagine a lot of pieces of the puzzle need to come together um, but let's cross our fingers for him and for season two and also for Zilpha to be a regular you know spirit that visits James as well that would be pretty cool then we see James in the tower striking a deal with Sir Stuart Strange so using that leverage of the Cornwallis pointing out with his testimonies and Godfrey's testimony, he will be in the tower for treason also. So, you know, pointing out, Sir Stuart Strange, you'll be in here with me if you don't get me out. So more information of the sinking of the Cornwallis was, was raised as well, that they put up an American flag when they're transporting the slaves. And it was a direct order from Sir Stuart as well to for that whole situation to occur. So we hear James's demands, freedom for himself, releasing Helga and Pearl, and getting a boat. But we see James biding his time and stalling with the case in front of Coop, waiting for his plan to fall into place. So James's plan, Robert, his son, is running around town delivering letters to all James's employees slash helpers, giving them separate tasks to complete, then advising them to meet him at the docks. And that's where his new ship will be. So we see Mr. Chumley preparing the explosives, we see Lorna approaching Carlsbad to get the letter allowing them through the blockade. We see that Atticus frees Helga and Pearl. And we also see that the East India Company is falling right into his hands with this. So we see Pettifer releases Helga. Then Atticus shoots Pettifer in the face. The main reason for this would be for killing Winter. But I kind of I would have liked to see Helga doing this as more of a vengeance of herself as opposed to Atticus doing it on her behalf. Then we see Lorna take Helga and Pearl to the docks. So at this point, James is freed from the prison, and he arrives at home. Now he finds the letter from Zilpha. A very interesting conversation happens between him and Lorna around this. So James claiming Zilpha isn't dead, because he would be hearing her sing to him as a spirit. But in the next scene, when James visits Dumberton, we see that we get the confirmation that she is dead, because she does, she does visit him as a spirit. But it was a pretty emotional scene with James and Lorna there, um, seeing a side of James that we've not really seen before, so that was pretty cool. So on to Dumbarton. After James finishes up with Lorna, he says, I've got to go see somebody, so he heads over to Dumbarton. So we had a twist. So we hear before then, when Lorna visits Carlsbad, she mentions that James will fix a leak. And I wondered, who's that a reference to? But James, when visiting Dumbarton, Dumbarton tries to get him to sign the, the treaty over to him on behalf of the Americans, but I think it was probably going to be on behalf of the East Indian Company. But James calls him out for his betrayal here. So he calls him out for working with the Americans and for that working with the East Indian Company and ends up killing him, then hangs him up like a flag as well. So then off he goes to the docks after that. So James goes up to Atticus, tells him the plan and what's going on. Then we see Brace trying to get involved and help, but James pulls him aside saying, no, 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 don't do that. And also you're not coming with us. And we see Brace obviously getting pretty upset with this, saying that you were not born into freedom, you wouldn't know what to do with it, so the house is yours, so you stay here. And it's tricky too, because we see a scene at the end with Brace, I'm not sure if he's happy or not, it's, it's hard to pick up his actual emotion in that scene, but it was pretty cool anyway. So onto the final showdown at the, at the docks, it was pretty awesome. We see the king really pushed to his limits, saying he's heard the voice of God. He just wants to kill them all. He doesn't care anymore, so sends in, so sends in his soldiers to kill them all. Just before we see the soldiers arrive, we see uh, Benjamin Wilton. That's one of the East 
India Company's one of the main guys. He's killed by French Bill. So then Mr. Chumley has laid a trap for the soldiers arriving in that tunnel. So then violence ensues. We see a lot of death and a lot of injuries, even on James' side as well. So we see Helga shot in the back. And we see Martinez as well. So a few random helpers, you know, random extras here and there as well on James' side get it. But we see Mr. Chumney blown up, but still alive somehow. And Lorna is shot as well. It seems to be it was a, a you know, it was an upper body shot. Um, so it's going to be tricky if she, she survives or not. But the ship does set sail with what is left of the crew has supplies and it has the powder as well after this happens we see that james's work continues after he has left london so mr chichester is given a letter advising him to where to find the testimony for james and godfrey against the east india company we see chichester seems happy with the, what he's found even though he's lost the attendance of the witness at, at the court ceremony or what whatever's going to occur at least he has the written testimony so he seems to be happy with that then we see Sir Stuart Strange opening up what he thinks is the Nuka Sounds Treaty signed over by James. So Dumbarton was Stuart's ace card and was trying to trick James to signing it over to the Americans when I think it was probably going to be switched to the East India Company somehow. But either way, it didn't happen. But what James did, kindly enough, he sent him something else instead. So he sent him some explosives. And it's most likely that Sir Stuart is dead. But you never can tell. If Chumley survived that explosion right behind him of that much powder, so could Sir Stuart. I wouldn't rule him out for season two if that does occur. And the final words from James when they're on a boat sailing off into the distance is that they're heading to Ponta del Grad to seek out Colonnade. So that's an island uh, west of Spain. Uh, very far, very far from the coast though. And that is in a nutshell what happened. So summary of the episode it really has wrapped up very nicely. Many story arcs to continue in the future, but they're all left in a nice satisfactory state so that if season two doesn't happen, you can assume what occurs after this point. So it also really leaves a nice staged point for season two as well that it can continue on with multiple characters and the story on, on from multiple people as well, which is quite nice. But once again, it can finish here I can easily say I'm happy with it to be left here. I can, you know, in my head I can envisage what's going to happen. But not I don't want that. I just say that it's a good point to leave it if it doesn't occur. So all in all, really good. Once again, great acting. The action was good. You know, the story is good. The script is amazing. Very surprised at how many people actually died in this in this episode. The main characters, I think it was 6. Um I really hope season 2 does happen. We've heard that once again that Stephen Knight is planning it, so hopefully it does it does occur, and hopefully all the pieces fall into place for him, and season two um, kicks off as soon as possible. So I'll leave this review here. I'll do another video in the future around my thoughts for how I think season two will pan out. But I hope you enjoyed this um, recap I've done of the finale here. Once again, great episode, and it'll be sadly missed by myself. I hope this video helped you out if you missed some subtleties within the story. Please share the video, thumbs it up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, that would be awesome. And until next time, this is Mesh, and I'll see you later.